Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we are back with another graphic design tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can create also amazing Azure ribbon effect in Adobe Photoshop. We're going to create two amazing designs using the Azure ribbon effect. These are two designs we're going to create. In the first design, you can see we have given this cool effect to this sweater uh, by giving this a stripping effect. And we got these two layer on the back and on the front. In the same way, we have created the other design we're using the same technique that is the front and the back layer where we have applied layer style option and used lots of features inside that. And lastly, we have added this nice uh, gradient sphere on the background. In the previous video, we have created some nice text effect design. Uh, we have created these three designs in that tutorial. We have used clipping mask option, we have used layer mask option, and we have use three different techniques to create these three text effect and uh, we have used a leafy image on the background and integrated with our text to get this nice cool effect now in this tutorial we're going to create all these two designs we're going to use layer style option we're going to use gradient overlay we have used inner shadow inner glow and lots of other tools so let's begin with the designing process so first we're going to create all this design so we're going to create all this effect using this image so as you can see we have used our this layer background layer we have got back layer we have got front layer right we have added this nice layer to customize our effect and we have added lastly a nice brightness and contrast adjustment layer so in this first design we'll understand the technique to create out as to an effect what tools you need to know what effects you need to apply and all those after learning that using those same technique and tools will create all this amazing graphic design and before we go further now as you can see we have used uh, stock images in this tutorial and we have used it so if you are looking for stock images i have linked some website links in the description and you can just go and download some stock images from there where you can and but before that just finish the tutorial first and then go to the link and download it and work on your own design so let's continue with the tutorial uh, let's begin with the designing process so the first thing we're going to do is to bring in our image so i'll open the folder and just open it with Photoshop okay now we'll unlock it and now the first thing we're gonna do is to select our subject so select the layer we'll go to selection tool that is object selection tool quick selection tool and magic wand to select anyone and once you're selected that you'll see these two options on the top one is select subject and other is select and mask so first click on select subject okay and this will automatically select our subject as you can see it has nicely traced out our character but there are some space where it has left out so we're going to work on that so to do that we'll now click on select and mask and under this uh, go to view and choose any effect you want so if you select overlay you see this in black and white we'll choose this one uh, on black and that way you can see the background and the character as well so first thing we're going to do is to we need to remove this so with the selection tool, that is quick selection tool, with the all press, click and drag and you have to remove this region like that. Click and drag it out. Okay, do the same for here. Click and drag and it will remove that area. Here also click and drag. Okay, and other, let's leave it that way. Now we're going to use the second tool that is refine edge tool. So click on that. Okay, and it's very easy just click and drag and it will easily remove our background color that is white so in between the hairs you can just click and drag and it will remove that black area over here over here over here as we just click and drag okay remove that remove that here just click and drag and remove this do the same for here and here we go now click OK just check if everything is fine so once you have made a selection of our character like this we'll add a new layer right or you can create a duplicate of our original image and reverse the selection Control shift i this will reverse the selection and selecting that layer delete our background so as you can see it has deleted this background so we got this image without the background now I'll create two duplicate of this. One is for front, F R O N T front, and other is for back, B A C K back. Enter. And if you see our original design, we have created that one is front and back, right? These are two layers, and we need a background layer on the back, and we need this custom layer to edit our 
design and lastly we have added this curve edges layers so now next thing we're gonna do is to create our pattern this pattern to create that effect so to create this pattern uh, we're gonna go here and let's uh, create a new file new document set it to 200 by 200 pixel and resolution around 300 okay and here we go now under this we'll select a rectangular tool click on it and make sure width is 100 and maybe height is 100 and width is 200 okay click okay and fill it up with black color and just place it on the top like this and after that we'll go to edit and define pattern give it a name and click ok and if you go to our main file let's apply pattern to here so I'll first I'll create a new layer fill it up with any color anything white now let's reduce the fill color to zero and now double click on this layer and apply pattern overlay and under this pattern you see that pattern over here on the bottom here so here's our pattern and now let's adjust it so I'll reduce the opacity a little bit and let's adjust according to our image so we'll reduce the size according to a requirement so here we go we need this I'll just push it up a little bit here black one from here it start one two three so it's fine uh, so I have given a uh, scale to 102 and the opacity to full and click OK now we'll convert this into smart object right smart object now next thing we're gonna do is to get this nice curvy effect so to create that effect we'll select this layer right and with we'll press command or control T to activate the transform option right click and click on wrap and once you click that wrap option you see this option on top that is custom wrap and over here choose flag and this will get you that nice curvy looking design now we'll adjust the size that is we'll set it around minus eight or nine let's see that's if you want to increase you can increase or decrease it over here and once you're fine with it done press enter and here we go we got that nice pattern now next thing we're gonna do is to select these strip so we need only the black strip this one so we'll choose magic wang tool so go over here and choose magic wang tool and if you select you see that when you click a black color it is selecting only the single strip what we need is we need all these strip and if you select individually it will take lots of time so there's a shortcut for that so what I'll do is you see over here on top you see this contagious tick so if you remove this contagious and check this and click on black color it will select all the black color or if you select click on white color it will select only the white color so click on black color it will select everything and after that hide this layer we'll go to a front right and apply mask to it right as you can see we have applied mask in the same way I'll just copy this with the all press click and drag and apply to the other one as well so we have applied to this and to this now if you see our main design the front curve looks like this and the second curve is the opposite so over here also let's keep this one this like this and we'll reverse the other one so uncheck this command control T with the alt and shift pressed and click and drag and you can easily reverse the side of the image it's very simple so like that you have given that nice looking effect now you can just select this um, mask layer and just move it up down according to your requirement so we'll keep it like this okay and now let's apply some effects to this layer on the bottom i'll select and double click on it and we'll apply gradient overlay so i choose gradient overlay right under gradient overlay we'll choose black and this one we'll choose like dark blue color something like that okay let's set the blend mode to multiply and the opacity around 89 so we'll increase the opacity to around uh, 89 or 90 uh, set its radial and we'll keep everything the same and after that we'll add inner shadows like that we'll set the uh, blend mode to multiply choose black color right okay and opacity to 100 set the angle to around 150 and distance you can edit the distance over here so we'll keep it around 25 
right 20 to 25 and edit the size over here so we'll set it around this much and click ok so we got that nice color we'll apply do the same for the front one on the front one we're gonna apply inner shadow and we're gonna choose white color so choose white color right and apply overlay and set the opacity around 75 maybe okay around 75 76 like this and set the angle to 45 so we'll choose it to 45 distance around 14 right and let's increase the size a little bit just to get that nice blend over there uh, angle around this much and opacity around 76 this much and click ok so we got that nice one once you're done with this we'll uh, create a new duplicate of this layer and this one uh, will remove this effects right and over here uh, just fill it up with black color okay and with the brush tool now let's start painting over here so we want to reveal these spaces so just paint it over here and just reveal it like this just go there from here to here just keep it that way here like that we want these parts to be visible so just click and drag and make it visible and uh, over here as well we want this region we want this part as well properly just click and drag and fill it up okay here as well we'll just fill this up this part click and just fill this up control command Z just go in and just fill this up this part just click drag drag click drag drag and drag lastly this part so here we go and here uh, we'll just make sure the hairs are properly visible so we'll just click and drag and make sure it's visible here as well we'll go along the hairline and just fill it up with it right and zoom it out okay so here we go here it is now if you want to do some little bit adjustments you can just click this and just command control t and just you can move around so just move around just to give some nice cool effect to our character something like this okay okay and enter and if you check it out it looks amazing now lastly i'll add on top a curve adjustment layer so brightness and contrast and increase the brightness and set the brightness contrast a little bit down zoom it out let's add a new background layer with it over there. some bright color right and double click on it we'll go to color overlay and over here let's choose some nice colors so something like this and click ok and here we go if you check out our original design here it is this is our second design and we need to do some little more adjustments we need some uh, thing over here so i'll just select this and we'll brush it over here as well so click click and just give some nice effect there do the same over here and click and click do the same over here click and click from here click and click so here it is it looks i'm just filling up some space over here just to give that nice effect there and paint over it like this now lastly we'll crop this up so i'll just reduce the size a little bit and enter and here we go our first design is ready you can see it's very simple we have created two layer front and back and we have applied some layer style option to it that is inner shadow and gradient overlay uh, we have given a nice background color we have also created a pattern to create this nice edge ribbon effect now let's create our second design we're going to use the same techniques same options same tools and recreate our second design that is this one and it looks amazing now let's create that so i'll go to a file and let's open this image in photoshop so here we go uncheck this let's uh, go to our image size let's reduce the image size around let's say uh 2500 by this one and click ok so here we go now first thing we're going to do is to select our subject so selecting the layer we'll go to selection tool right and click on select subject now once you have selected the subject create a new layer and apply mask to this select and fill and just fill this up this one selection tool just click and drag and select this flower part okay zoom it out 
and let's see what else we are missing so overall everything is fine except that part and click ok and now apply mask and you see that character now I'll just once you apply that mask but this is a smart object just to keep it safe now we'll create pattern so we have already created that pattern as you know so we'll just directly apply it so I'll add a new layer right fill it up with any color white color reduce the fill color to zero and double click on it and apply pattern overlay and reduce the opacity now and let's adjust the size a little bit so let's adjust the size according to our image so we need let's make it a little bit smaller black part around here 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 so I think this looks fine I'll increase the opacity and click OK now uh, convert this into a smart object right and we'll apply uh, this web option so command control T to transform right click and choose web under web we're gonna choose uh, flag and let's set it to around minus 9 or maybe increase or decrease as you need and enter and here we go I got that nice pattern well, what I'll do is I'll select the black strip as well so I'm gonna use magic bank tool uh, and check contagious and click on black color after that Hide layer, select our subject layer, right, and apply mask to it. And here we go. We have created this nice one. This is our front. We're gonna create our back as well. So I create a duplicate of it. And for this one, I'll just uncheck this and just reverse this pattern. Reverse this pattern. So command control T and with the Alt and Shift pressed, click and drag, and it will reverse the pattern. So we got this nice design. Now, if you want to move around, you can just go and just move around just to get some nice cool design and enter. Now let's apply some layer style. So on the background, this is the back layer. We're going to apply to effect, gradient overlay and inner shadow. So choose gradient overlay, uh, choose gradient color, black and dark blue. Then set the opacity to 100, choose multiply and around minus 180 degree. And just set it the default one and we'll add inner shadow as well so inner shadow should be black okay and set the opacity to 100 okay and I did the distance so we'll just zoom it in go in there and let's see the distance so okay we'll keep the distance around I did the size around here set it around here okay and we'll go to gradient overlay as well you can reduce the opacity a little bit just to give this a little bit of feel just to see that background details as well and now we'll go uh, to our top layer double click on that in a shadow in a shadow should be for this one white and as you can see you can see that effect right now if i hide this you can see so we added that nice uh, uh glow effect there uh, overlay set the opacity according to you so we'll keep it around 75 percent set the angle so we'll keep it to let's say 45 so I'll set it to 45 right and adjust the distance according to your requirements so if I reduce the size and adjust the distance you can see that sharp edge right we'll keep it around this much okay and increase the size a little bit and here we go click ok and we have added that in a shadow I'll add a background layer before that so command control z add a new background layer fill it up with a white color alt backspace or command backspace right and let's uh create a duplicate of this layer just to uh custom our design so this top layer this is our front layer fro and the front right and this is our back layer and this is our customizable layer so custom custom layer right and now let's fill this up with black color Come on backspace or alt backspace right come on backspace fill double black color and reduce these effects just delete it and now with the brush tool uh, let's start painting over here so selecting that layer the brush tool just start painting so we need this part properly and just start painting over it so click and drag we need this cap properly I'll just erase some part over here just to get that effect so make sure your flower is visible and the cap part as well so make sure only the cap part is visible reduce the size and just go from there and we'll just make sure we are tracing it properly so with the brush tool just paint over here and spot the spot that okay now here we go you can see that nice cool effect we have given that hat region we have given that nice 
effect there 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 so here we go now I'll just crop this up so with the crop tool selected we'll just reduce the size around this much enter and over here as you can see it's there now we'll add these nice details in the background so to create that go to here so now let's add nice background so I'll just first create a rectangle using the rectangle tool fill it up with this choose red color right go here and choose some red color okay and arrange this to the back of the layer so we'll just place it over here come on control T and set the angle to around this much and place it around here okay increase the size like this and enter here we go and let's add some sphere so we'll create a sphere so using the shape tool so we'll choose ellipse tool and click and drag and create a sphere now let's fill this up with yellow color something like that and let's apply gradient color to it so we'll go over here double click on it and first we'll apply gradient overlay so over here let's choose luminosity and we'll choose a basic gradient color that's black and white okay and set the opacity around 54 55 that's fine now let's add inner shadow so i'm going to choose inner shadow and over here uh, set it to multiply right so we'll go to multiply and we'll choose black color okay and set the opacity around 80 and we will set the angle to minus 125 so it's here it's a shadow layer so we're going to increase the opacity around this much and increase the distance a little bit so around this much okay and increase the size just to get that faded look we have given multiply choose black color and here we go next we'll apply bevel and embers and over here uh, set the style to inner bevel and keep it smooth uh, set the uh, depth value to 32 percent so around 32 right so we'll keep it around 32 that way and uh, size to around 250 let's increase it to around 250 and and here we go so and let's add some contour on the contour set it to 90 percent okay so here we go we have given the nice sphere uh, we can change the color so let's go here and let's do some tweaking with the color if i keep it a little bit fresher so I'll go here and choose this color click ok and here we go so we'll place this around here command T reduce the size a little bit we'll create a few more duplicates we'll create this duplicate and we'll change the color to gray so uh, choose this and choose white color okay just select that you place it around here we'll convert this into smart object right convert it into smart object and come on control t scale on the size scale up the size and place it around here with the create under duplicate and come on control t scale on size and place it around here we'll create a duplicate of this convert this into smart object come on control t and scale it down the size and place it around here and then now let's apply blur so we'll select that go to filter blur gaussian blur and increase the blur value as per your comment like this okay uh do the same for the other select that go to filter blur gaussian blur and just make sure it's blurred out properly like that and click okay so here we go let's see the difference so here it is and here it is so let's scale up the size a little bit enter here this one command control t scale enter this one around here scale on the side a little bit enter and lastly let's add a adjustment layer so we'll add brightness and contrast adjustment layer and increase the brightness and contrast a little bit this and it looks amazing so here we go we have created this second design as well so here we go we have created these two amazing designs in adobe photoshop 
So as you can see in this tutorial, we have used so many tools and options and created some amazing photo effects. And if you're looking for a Photoshop action where you can just click and it will be applied to your images directly, uh, I have shared a link in the description as well. You can go to Envito Element and there's a bunch of Photoshop actions available there. It includes actions, plugins, brushes, assets and lots more. So once you're done, just do and check it out. As you have seen in the first design, we have understood the concept. We have learned the technique then we have used those technique and created our second design and in the second design we have used those tools and lastly we have created our background design that is that involves a sphere a rectangular shape and uh, some other stuff so mainly in this tutorial we have used their style option to create this effect we have created a pattern we have used wrap tool to create this nice curvy style pattern and created this amazing Esther ribbon effect. So in the next tutorial, we'll learn how you can create motion graphic effects in Adobe Photoshop. We're gonna create all these two designs. As you can see, it's very interesting. It looks amazing. Uh, we'll learn how you can create that in very simple, easy to understand steps. And after that, firstly, I'll show you the basic steps and technique and we'll use those steps and technique and follow it and create our second design. And that way you'll be able to understand it very clearly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.